Hello everyone! Today we are doing the June Fairloot unboxing. The box right here. So, let's get started. I forgot what a theme is. I feel like for the next few months, I will be forgetting the, th the theme because it's just been really busy for me and I just, my brain can't handle stuff so I just forget stuff, you know? So, let's see what this box is. Okay, so we have our theme of the month is from the depths. Okay, okay, now remember, okay. The first item that we have is a ceramic plate designed by a Michaela Alkina Design. Classically charming, this nautical ceramic plate features a gorgeous design inspired by The Adventures of Amina Al Sirafi by S. H. Akraborty. I've already read The Adventures of Amina Al Sirafi. I loved it. It's probably going to be in my top books of the year, which is great because it's one also of my most anticipated releases of this year. I love that. I love the color of the plate itself because it's not exactly white. It's like eggshell. So it's, it's not like white white. And I also love the navy blue color of the actual design. Oh, I love that. I love it. And it definitely captures the book itself with you know the palm trees, the sea, the sea creatures, even the compass and like, what do you call that? Astrolabe? Astrolab? How do you say it? I don't know. But yeah, if I'm remembering correctly what that looks like. But yes, I love that. Now, in terms of plates, I don't really use the plates that I'm given. I just I just felt like they're more decorative. But I'm also not the type to like decorate stuff. I just want to keep things simple, you know? Okay, next one. Tea strainer. Ooh. Designed by at Design. Enjoy a cup of tea with this quality... <laughs> Wooden Strainer, featuring a design inspired by The Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I have not read The Daughter of the Pirate King, but I am interested in reading it. Now, I believe this is the second tea strainer that I've gotten from Fairy Loot. I think the first one was the one by Hafsa Faisal. I actually am using it. So it says, it's a bold and stupid move. I like it. Okay, and of course we have our sea design, like seafaring design, piratey designs, you know? All right, let's see. Next one. Collect collectible mythology bookmarks, art by Gracie Art, unveiling the water deities beside an ocean. These bookmarks mark the grand finale of our breathtaking mythology collection. We hope you adore them. Ooh, okay, so these are the last mythology bookmarks. Let's see. Ooh, ah, oh, I love that. Ooh, I love, I love the coloring that they used. So it's both the background is both mostly blue, but I love the gold details for from both of the characters. Oh, I love that. These are really pretty. So we have our final mythology bookmarks. Next one is cushion cover. Add a pop of color to your room with a cushion cover featuring art from The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie. Oh, ooh, I really enjoy that book. It is marketed as like Studio Ghibli inspired and it definitely has that whimsical feel. Oh, I love the art. That's so cute. We have our main characters. Oh, I love this. I wish they could turn this into like a manhwa. Ugh. I wish, I, yeah, I really do wish they could turn the book into a manhwa. That would be so amazing. Oh, I love it. I feel like the art definitely will, if it's like this, that it would be so beautiful. Okay, next, our last item before the tarot cards are reusable cotton face pads designed by Blank Design. Bid farewell to wasteful makeup removal with a set of reusable cotton face pads, providing a gentle touch for both your skin and the environment. Oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. It's the wave goodbye to makeup reusable face pads. They are navy blue. The design is so cute. So on the back, it has like the waves. It kind of looked like seashells too. At first, I thought it was those look like seashells, but I think these are waves. Oh, I wish it was back to back though, because I do have reusable cotton pads too, and they are back to back. But these feel so nice. It feels so soft and definitely like usable. Like I really like this. This is definitely the most practical like item that we have here. Although the tea strainer, cushion cover, and plate are practical too, but they are more de decorative. This one is definitely like, you will use it. Well, the tea strainer, definitely you, you will use it. Next one, Tarot Cards of the Month, features Achilles as the Nine of Stars card and Patroclus as a Ten of Stars card. The characters are from the Song of Achilles of Madeline Miller and were illustrated by the amazing at Rosalind Arts. Oh, I really love the Song of Achilles, one of my favorite books. So we have a Ten and Nine of Stars, Patroclus and Achilles. They're so beautiful. 
I don't really want to remember what happened to them, but here we are. Okay, so our featured book of the month is Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burton. It's a dark and seductive YA fantasy where a siren must choose between protecting her family and following her heart in a prejudiced kingdom where her existence is illegal. Your fairy lit exclusive edition has an exclusive cover, digital sprayed edges on all three sides, character artwork on, on, the, on the end papers by J. Hawk A. Uh, three A's, full colored foil design on this hardcover by Blanket Out Design, and has a g digital signature. Don't forget to read the author letter and check out the character print on the reverse side by at Hatch and Draw. Hatch and Draws. Okay. Ooh, I love the art print. Very pretty. So is that our main character? She has golden eyes. It kind of looks like golden, gold green eyes, but yes. And we have, ooh, I love the cover. So we see our, I guess that's our main character, like diving down. Word sting song skill in the back. It says, a duty to protect, a desire to kill, an, an impossible love. Ooh, I love it. This are digitally, digital edges, right? Hold on. Yeah, digital spray edges. So we have, it says full colored foil design on the hard cover. Oh, the foil isn't very shiny, but yeah, it. I guess that is foil. It is, is it? It's not super shiny. But yeah, so we, you can definitely like, like remove the this jacket. But this jacket is also so pretty. And we have end papers, different ends. Ooh, ooh, I love how it depicts like two things, right? First one is like the characters seem to be like parting ways or something. Like something's happened. It's like they're getting separated. And the last is like, is he looking for her? Is that what happens? I don't know. Looks very intriguing. I don't know if this is the first book in the series. Hopefully not. I really do enjoy standalones. But yes. So our fairy scoop from the depths. We have interview by the author. Exciting July 2023 releases. I don't. I I've never heard of any of these books before. Interesting. Okay. They all look very. They all look very very interesting. Okay, and our next month's theme is cruel intentions. Some characters give us butterflies. Others have the ability to send us to send an unsettling shiver down our spines. They're not for the faint of heart, but they truly add excitement to our beloved stories. Wouldn't you agree? Just be careful they don't stab you in the back. In this box, you can expect items inspired by only a monster, one dark window, the Wicker King, and two other fandom neutral items. Oh, I have not read any of these books. I do have only a monster and one dark window. We're thrilled to reveal that this box will include our next secret book designed by a chatty Nora. I really love the secret books. Our featured book of the month is a fantasy noir where a descendant of the Greek fates must solve a series of impossible murders to save her sisters, her soulmate, and her city. Ooh, Greek fates. This very little exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover with lots of foil de details, a reversible dust jacket by a blanket out design, digital sprayed edges on all three edges, foil on the hard covers by a near 4Z, near as, artwork on the end papers by the same artist, different from the front and back, and will be signed by the author. It will also come with a letter from the author with artwork on the reverse. This edition is very unique and different from our norm. Ooh, I'm excited. Sounds very interesting. It's fantasy with also like murder mystery. Hmm, okay. So that is it for this month's box. My favorite item, I think, is going to be the tree strainer because I, I love tea. I love tea so much. And my sister actually actually recently got Thai tea. So we definitely use a strainer for that one. Or we could. Yeah. And most practical, the one that I know I will be using definitely aside from a tea strainer is our little, are the reusable face pads. So those are all of this month's items. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you on the next one.